find the inverse laplace transform of this 1 upon s square plus 2 multiplied by s square plus 3 so basically they are asking us to find the inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s square plus 2 multiplied by s square plus 3 now what are the basic uh, concept which you know that Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square is sin a t divided by a just one thing now here in denominator we don't have one s square plus a square only we have two things so we will do some adjustment what we will do is write numerator as s square plus 3 minus s square plus 2 divided by this denominator now if you see carefully s square s square will get cancelled and 3 minus 2 is 1 so no change in denominator but now denominator is in the Sorry, no change in numerator, but numerator is in the form of denominator. So we have, we can easily separate it now and write this as Laplace inverse of this divided by denominator. So s square plus 3 will get cancelled. You will be left with 1 upon s square plus 2. And we can take this minus sign outside and this divided by denominator so you will be left with Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 3 uh, we can change uh, Laplace inverse of two functions either in uh, addition so we can distribute them so I have done that only now Laplace inverse of this this is basically written 1 upon s square plus root 2 whole square minus Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus root 3 whole square. Now I have discussed this formula. It says Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square is sin a t by a. So this will give you sin root 2 t by root 2 and this will give you sine root 3t by root 3. Okay. So finally what you are getting is Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 2. S square plus 3 is giving you sine root 2t divided by root 2 minus sine root 3t divided by root 3. So again an easy problem. We uh, just transform this 1 in numerator in the form of denominator and just separated the things out to get the standard form and then we easily found the Laplace inverse of this as sine root 2 by root 2 t by root 2 minus sine root 3 t by root 3. I hope you understood this problem. This was the start of the inverse Laplace transform. Please watch out the playlist for more interesting videos on inverse Laplace transform.